I'm Lauren Green, and this is Bias Bash. A new report is suggesting that President Trump's $21.6 billion border wall with Mexico might not be as effective as he is uh, making it out to be. Well, illegal crossings are down at the U.S.-Mexico border, and studies show that vast majority of Undocumented immigrants are actually entering the United States through airports or border checkpoints with valid visas and then simply overstaying those visas, not by sneaking across the U.S. border, uh, U.S.-Mexico border, that is. Even with this in mind, is it too soon to write off the project as a failure? Well, here with her thoughts are radio talk show host and Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Welcome, Tammy. Thanks for having me. Okay, so is the media too quick to, to write off the wall? Well, it, they are, and of course we would expect them to. Look, these kinds of stories, I think, are really meant to influence public opinion about the validity and to depress the base that has given uh, Donald Trump his strength. It is, of course, the primary thing that got him elected. And we also know that uh, his ability to deliver on those things will have an impact on the midterms for Republicans and also on a reelection uh, effort. So we, we know there's some bias there. I think that these are stories that uh, are, are uh, incorrect because the wall is going to get built. But the intention of the stories matter when it comes to issues of affecting the frame of mind of the voter and trying to influence people into thinking, well, maybe it really isn't possible and, and maybe then those supporters would retreat. But this is a different age. I don't expect that to happen. Well, you talk about the media swaying people, you know, about the wall, but are they actually almost even oppressing the base, kind of saying, you know, no, you're really not smart if you do this. I mean, is it, yeah. there some subtleties like that? Well, there are, and, and of course, maybe uh, pre-Trump that would have worked. But we now have a base of Americans, no matter what side you're on politically, where we've seen that the media has been wrong a great deal of the time. And not about just who will win an election, but what that person will do, how they will operate. And so when, this is why you've got media is at about a 19% approval rating, because people realize that they can't really be trusted, and that's what media is, media is supposed to bring us information mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for our tool chest so we can make choices. When we're constantly getting wrong information, you stop listening to them. And of course, for all of us, that's bad because it is an important part of our democracy. But it, at this point, it seems to most Americans, a supermajority, that the media base, the legacy media, has thrown their responsibility to democracy away by jumping into one side of right. politics right. and to uh, promoting one narrative effectively. But, you know, in, in kind of you know, being the devil's advocate you know, sure. in the Trump administration, yeah. have they been able to articulate uh, the need beyond the hyperbole and the campaign rhetoric about what is needed at the wall? I mean, how, can they come mm -hmm. back against these kinds of studies and say, yes, but? Yeah, look, and this is your point's excellent because clearly, while we 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 individually believe we know what we want the wall for, uh, the fact that these stories and they they mention, well, yes, the border apprehensions are down, and so the wall's not needed, or uh, yes, a lot of people come over on visas and overstay them, like the September 11th hijackers. The fact that those points are being made as attempts to sway indicate that at least the media thinks that there hasn't been a good argument made explaining why the wall's really needed. The fact of the matter is though the wall is important on a number of, of levels. One, it's a symbolic a dynamic regarding the security of the nation. Mm -hmm. Secondly, 90 per, according to Department of Homeland Security, 90 percent of the heroin and the, the methamphetamines that are coming into the country are coming from Mexico, mm. not from Afghanistan. We've all thought it's from the poppy fields in Afghanistan. That's about three to four percent of wow. the heroin in the country. So we're looking at uh, interdicting the drug dealers, the cartels, and yes, criminals going back and forth across the border. Yes, uh, obviously if 60% of the apprehensions are down, that's good. Those are uh, regular people trying to come over perhaps for a better life. And yet there's gotta be symbolism for the world that America cares about itself and is taking its security seriously. This is also, Lauren, important because the world appears to be preparing for war. And when we're talking about the security of the country, uh, Mexico, we know that we've got Hezbollah and Hamas operating with the drug cartels there. MS-13, my co current column in the Washington Times, a, a transnational terrorist group operating in this country, obviously, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, and uh, signed with, with Hamas. So the wall is about national security, dealing with the horrible drug issue, and yes, dealing with illegal immigration. And it's, it's comprehensive. The issue is, uh, the, the cost then, that'll come right, up, right. Uh, and, uh, and whether or not they think it'll be successful. All right, I want to thank you so much, Tammy Bruce, for being here. Thank you. And, mm, excuse me, and to hear more media analysis on this week's top headlines, catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz.
Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern and again at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. I'm Lauren Green, and thanks for watching.